Ready or not, the start of a new school year is almost here for lots of mm. kids in the area. And this morning we have Jared Rosing with us from the Middleton Cross Plains Area School District helping us prepare for that big day. Good morning. Good morning and thanks for having me. Good to see you, Jared. There's a lot going on. Uh, we'd like to begin today bus driver shortage. Yeah. Everybody's talking about it impacting schools, as we know, across the country. Let's talk about how your district is handling getting those kiddos to and from school. Yes, last year we experienced the shortage tremendously. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of late buses, kids coming in late to classes, which mm -hmm. is not fair to them. So we knew that this could not continue to happen. So we did an all out blitz, not only to uh, attract new teacher or bus drivers, but also to retain our mm -hmm. current bus drivers. Okay, and how did you do that? How did you make it attractive for them? So to we come also there? we had to look into raising our starting pay to twenty four dollars an hour. Okay. Uh, we went to our community and talked to them. We partnered with our media partners mm -hmm. and really just did an all-out blitz. We had a drive a bus event. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's neat. It was because we felt that people didn't understand what it was like to drive a bus. Mm -hmm. And there are individuals that are like, I'm too scared to drive a bus. And so we just wanted to get them behind the wheel, show them what it felt like. Not, it, makes, I mean, it makes sense. You're not have too to do difficult. That, right? yeah. uh, we're also hearing whisperings that the district is launching a new app yeah. this year. Brand new. Can you talk to us about how that's going to work? Yes. Uh, we've had requests from parents, and we want to continue to partner with our parents and our guardians of our school district. Uh, so this is an opportunity for an app that parents can sign up for that they can monitor what their students are doing during the school day. Um, it's an opportunity for them to see what websites they're going to, okay. what they're searching, how long they've been on that website. And then in addition to that, um, our students take devices home. All of our students, K-12, have devices. Mm -hmm. Our 6th through 12th graders actually get to take those home. And this gives an opportunity for parents to also see what's happening at home. Mm -hmm. And if they need to, they can pause the internet uh, so they can engage with their students, learn about what's happening, and really that overall online safety. And smart. I like yeah, that. Yeah, we need that That's right now, right? That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, we don't have too much time, but if you want to give a message to students heading into the first day of school, what do you want them to know? Well, the first day of school is always exciting, but mm -hmm. it also can be very nerve-wracking and stressful for kids. Mm -hmm. It's a clean slate. Everybody starts over and just come in and try something new, be yourself, and ask questions. Everybody, everybody's there for them. Yeah, it's like washing off that chalkboard. That's that right. really good feeling, right? Get the soap and water out <laughs> exactly. and scrape off all the chalk. All right, yes. Jared, thank you so much thank for stopping you. by and good luck with the school year.